So, as we see here, on Fox News, they're reporting Biden faces protesters at New Hampshire campaign event over Obama-era deportations. I am so happy to see people actually noticing the truth of what's going on. Trump didn't sign these orders of persecution of immigrants and their families. He did not enact this. This has been an Obama-era thing. And Joe Biden, he is taking the grunt of the deal. I am not 100% sure if it was all Biden, but I know Obama did play a part. In the article, it says, Former Vice President Joe Biden faced a protest during, uh, Friday during a campaign event by a small group of demonstrators, angry over the stepped-up deportation of undocumented immigrants during President Barack Obama's administration. The disturbance came at the end of the campaign event in the first in the nation presidential primary state of New Hampshire, where Biden, the current front runner in the race for the Democratic presidential nomination, chided some of his 2020 rivals for forming a circular firing squad and lam lam lamented that he's getting skewered by the new Democratic Party. Well, as the former vice president was shaking hands and taking selfies with supporters after delivering a 30-minute speech, he was briefly confronted by protesters holding signs reading, Biden, we haven't forgotten three million deportations. They also chanted, apologize now. I don't necessarily know what apologies will do uh, in the fact that they seem to be housing and holding immigrants in worse conditions than the Trump administration. I mean, if you really want to go back and divulge, we should all know this, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't understand that the cages and the inhumane living conditions started under the Obama administration. They fail to realize that, and they fail to see it, even when the truth is blatantly right there in their line of sight, okay? They think that Trump is this total totalitarian demigod that's going to ruin America. America's already in shambles and we're fighting to hold on to any ounce of American history as we know, including the amendments. Biden briefly attempted to talk with one of the demonstrators. A spokesperson for the protesters said they belonged to the New Hampshire Youth Movement and added that they were allied with Movimento Cosecha, which describes itself as a nonviolent movement fighting for permanent protection, dignity, and respect for all immigrants. And, you know, I do kind of side on the fact that we need to treat immigrants decently, um, but I'm also on the fence of legal immigration. I don't agree with illegal immigration or opening up the borders which is being demanded right now because if we open up the borders we are doing exactly exactly what conspiracy theorists call the new world order we're doing a technocracy type of civilization where we have no borders and what controls us is technology. The platforms like Facebook and Amazon and Twitter. I believe we have to keep our borders and we have to have legal migration. But anyways, the spokesperson who said her name was Quincy explained that we're here because we do not find many of Joe Biden's actions acceptable in terms of his record on immigration under the Obama administration. She added that we need a person who's going to champion issues like Medicare for All, Free College for All, and the Green New Deal that are going to save my generation's life. And we don't believe Joe Biden is the person to do that. See, I disagree with Free College for All, Medicare for All, and the Green New Deal. There's aspects to these issues I don't completely disagree with um but the way they are written 
and the way that Congress uh, wants to enact them, I don't agree with. Do I believe medication and Medicare should be affordable? Yes. Do I believe college should be more affordable? Yes. Or you go to a technical university. Uh, you don't have to go to college, especially uh, now with uh, the SJWs kind of running the show there. I mean, it's up for debate. I mean, college is a eh, place to go because they're not learning really that much. They're more learning about activism and fighting. Um, and the Green New Deal, do I believe that we need to do things that are more um, safe for our, our environment? I do. I, be, I believe that we need to work on our environmental factors, but that's going to uh, be hard. I mean, especially with how many people need to drive to get to work and uh, the amount of fossil fuels that we use in everyday life, including, I don't know, using YouTube, using electricity. Uh, we have to really think of long-term goals and realistic goals when we're talking about this and what has been proposed is not realistic. While the Obama administration with Biden as vice president is praised by many Democrats for implementing the Deferred Action for Ch Childhood Arrivals Program in 2014, is criticized by many immigration advocates for the increase in deportations. Later, Biden told reporters, I think the policy of boarding 